Welcome back to the Schweiger's Den, a non-sports collectibles episode. In this episode, I have a collectible of Yoko Ono, a signed photo where she was dining out in West California, and I have some albums of hers, Season of Glass, and Double Fantasy, and Fly, and I don't think any of us can forget what happened December 8th, 1980, when John Lennon was shot by Mark David Chapman. And there's Double Fantasy, which I never will forget that day. I was watching a football game when I heard the news, and in the middle of the night, I never will forget it, even to this day. But I got I have this uh, autograph of Yoko Ono, and it's a nice photo of her a few years ago, and it's signed by her. Got the signature. And it was signed. Certificate of Athenacy, and it was signed 1004 at Drea's La Carriere in West Hollywood, California, when she was dining out. Hollywood and Vine Collectibles, LA, California. So it's a cool, very cool autograph of Yoko. And there's this cool album of her album Fly, which I thought it was always a cool album. I listened to it quite a bit. And there's the back of the album. And here is her album, Approximately Infinite Universe, Yoko Ono, which this is the cassette version of it, and there's two cartridges in there, let me show you the back of it, on Apple, it's got Yang Yang, I want my love to nest tonight. Have you ever seen the horizon? And other ones. Very cool. And Season of Glass, that came out I think a year after John was murdered. And then after that she did Yoko Ono, It's All Right. With a single called My Man, which is a very cool song. And here's some more albums of John and Yoko with Together. Unfinished Music, number two. And Yoko Ono and the Plastic Ono Band, which is really a lot of primal scream and noises and different sounds and stuff like that on there with Yoko. A lot of people say she controlled John Lennon, but I'll tell you right now, I don't think that's true. But Yoko was a perfectionist. She wanted to be successful. Before she met John, she 
was doing all kinds of art and art exhibits and stuff back in the 60s before she met John. Once she met John, all that artistic creativity just started to flow. And they both were good for one another because they both like to do strange things. But I just wanted to show these collectibles of Yoko Ono and remember back on December 8th, 1980. And this is another episode of non-sports collectibles from the Schweiger's Den. And check Yoko's music out. She's pretty cool.